Create a club career mode. It has the potential to be the best game mode in FIFA. But due to EA's genuine incompetence and laziness implementing an old feature from FIFA 07, albeit 15 years later, we're left holding the bag with this absolute bare minimum that FC24 Creator Club has to offer. No kit sponsors, no in-game kit editor, no creating a crest or uploading your own custom badges, no creating a stadium, no in-detailed stadium editor like Pro Club an ultimate team have. No club staff, generic crests and kits, and the list goes on and on. In typical EA fashion, they announced no new changes to it in FC24. I was meant to be new. I was meant to be beautiful. The world would have looked to the sky and seen hope, seen mercy. Instead, they'll look up in horror because of you. However, thanks to these PC mods, it gives power back to the player and adds some amazing new features to the overall Creator Club experience that you console players need to know about. And that's why I'm here to showcase them to you all. So get your snacks and popcorn at the ready. There's no need to fear because every mod that I've used in this video will be linked down in the description below for you guys to try out for yourselves. And whilst you're down there, lads, if you haven't already, drop the video a like down below and hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get the channel up to 150k subscribers before I leave for my Europe trip next month. So all your help would be much appreciated. Now guys, let's get into the video. We're out to launch this thing. I've got all the mods applied. All of these mods here I've ticked off and they'll be ready for me to play with when I launch. Now, if this video doesn't at least slightly get you hyped up and interested in PC mods for career mode, I don't know what will because there are even some new additions and features that I didn't showcase in my realism mod and downloading all the mods in FC24 videos that I did. So you're going to want to be tuned in to the end for this one. Let's face it, the vanilla version is aggressively mid and extremely lackluster at times, which just sums up FC24 career mode perfectly. These kind of fresh new additions and mods are the bare minimum we deserve as players. You could do it back in the old days with Pez and their OG version, you could edit actual real life team kits, generic kits, all that stuff. And EA are just too lazy to add it in because reasons. As we load up into the game, everything seems pretty normal. Besides Vinny Jr. wearing loafers and having invisible legs, what you're going to want to do is load up into a brand new manager career save. Whether you create a manager or play as a real one, it doesn't really matter. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go with Big Ange, baby. We're going to sack Spurs off and create our own club and you're going to immediately immediately see the differences. Getting the obvious out of the way first, we're gonna go with BCHD United, nicknamed the Mad Lads. And I wanna start out in the championship for now. I wanna create a like mid-tier to decent sized club. Not a football giant, but not a minnow either. We'll be replacing Rotherham United because they currently sit bottom of the championship looking bound to get relegated. And our rivals are gonna be Middlesbrough because why not? Be because we can. All that has stayed the same for now, but when we get to the kit customization, the crest customization, customization and choosing your own stadium. Boy, these are game changers and we're going to go through them one by one. First up with the kits. We've got the home, away, third, and of course the goalkeeper kits right there, which are all generic in FC24, the base game at least. But we'll start off by the biggest change we've got right here and that's the inclusion of more kit templates and actual real world sponsors. Now I want to kind of fit the channel theme and all the colours, so we've gone with the unique purple, blue and gold combination. But let's just take a look at all the options we have. We've got multiple sponsors, multiple templates, and no restrictions on what sponsors you could have on what kit. With more options to choose from and more sponsors, it is just the perfect combination and the combinations are limitless. We've got the likes of Samsung, Dell, we had Fly Emirates and Win before. We've, we can keep going. We've got the likes of Alphabet, Aeon, Manchester United's OG kit sponsor back in the day. As we continue to scroll, we've got Google. It just seems like it never ends. We're barely halfway through. Kadere, Jeep, Football Manager even. That would piss off EA. Or that would just probably never even happen. They would never even allow that to happen. But we keep going and this combination of all these Creator Club mods I'm using, they add multiple kit templates, multiple patterns, and they all combine for the perfect storm. And it's just such a valuable asset to have in your Creator Club and even career mode experience, which we'll get to later. But I didn't even cover this side of career mode or play career mode in my PC mod video showcases because otherwise the video would just go on too long. There is so much to cover and so little time. But we still go here with the likes of Spotify sponsors, Qatar Airways,
Ace, Acor, American Express, and these are just way better than the generic kit templates, the EA Frostbite sponsored, Beat sponsored kit templates that we have in OG Creator Club. We've even got meta sponsorship, digital bits. Oh, you're just overwhelmed. It is just an absolute thoroughfare of brand new kits you have to experiment and play around with. We've got Paramount, T-Mobile, Infinite Athlete, Kazoo. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting tired just thinking about all this, but finally we get to the bottom and that is the complete list you have to choose from. The, all the options are there at your fingertips. I'm gonna go for that funky lightning bolt home kit. That looks absolutely electric. And then you're not even done there because there is even more to choose from when it comes to your away and third kit. Still no fourth kits, unfortunately, which the mods can't add. Until EA open up new slots for alternate fourth kits, we only have three to customize. And one of my favorite features is that you can have separate kit sponsors on different kits. For example, our last one had Paramount Plus. Now we can switch to Bwin or Fly Emirates. There are no limitations, no boundaries, and you can just let your imagination run wild. What I like is that there are some actual team templates here that previous brands have used. For example, that's the Barcelona kit from 21 slash 22, and that was one of their Champions League European kits. That was the Chelsea kit with the three logo sponsorship over it, and that was the PSG kit template from a couple years back too. So a couple will be catching your eye, some will look familiar, and you can just have fun with it really, and just experiment in any which way you want. Isn't that what gaming at the end of the day is all about? Now this is a huge ick for people in normal creator club career mode, and it's the goalkeeper kits, because they're all generic. There are no sponsored goalkeeper jerseys to select from, but with this new mod, we have not only sponsored and actual real world goalkeeper kits, we have the 24 slash 25 keeper kits that haven't even been released yet to the public, and we get to play around with them. There aren't any home or away goalkeeper jerseys, so you're gonna have to be wary of what actual outfield kits you select, but look at all these options. Look at the selections. The goalkeepers are eating good, and no one gets left behind, baby. And they actually look good. Like, all the generic goalkeeper kits look trash. Like, no, there aren't even any nice or experimental ones. They're all just plain and boring. But this funks things up and just completely changes the game. But I'm just gonna get on this eccentric Air Jordan orange kit. Unfortunately, you can't edit the kit number color like you can with the other jerseys, so that's probably the only downside. Now, in the blink of an eye, we've covered just one Creator Club new feature, and your enjoyment level has just cracked up a few notches. But don't get carried away yet. We've still got a few more main courses to select from. And boy, oh boy, when I talk about the Crest selection, we are spoiled for choice, just like for the kits. Not only does every single badge have its own separate selection of crests and icons to choose from, but when you change the primary color, you've got even more badges and icons to select from. It is just a never-ending supply, and even if you hated them all and wanted to keep the boring EA generic ones, you could do that too. Like, who in their right mind would want to do that? But the modders have still kept them in the game just in case anyone's out there crazy enough. EA's generic default abominations are still there, don't worry. This is where things get interesting. I don't know what to cover first. Let's just start off with a couple of the Volta Club badges. Yes, Volta gets a mention in this video because these are some of the icons that you can choose when you create a Volta team. For some reason, they aren't in Creator Club career mode, so this mod has added them in. Yes, they are EA generic ones, but they do look a little bit more interesting and actually have a little bit of character and pizzazz about them. There are some more Volta ones here if you were curious, but when you split off into the other areas, you've got different nations and different teams from the lower leagues. Like, for example, this one's Italy because you've got the likes of Catania, Campobasso, Monopoli, all these like Seri C and Seri D teams that aren't actually in the game. You could theoretically create them and add them to your career mode experience. Like, for example, Juve Stabia. They just got promoted to Seri B in real life and in combination with the 24 slash 25 season career mode start mod, you don't even need to buy FC 25. Boom, they're already in the game. So you could replicate a real life team or create an academy version of a team. Say for example, Stad Rene and start them out in the second tier of French football, but just be like the academy version of the club, if you know what I mean, or their second team. In another section, you've got some lower tier German clubs to select from. I'm not too familiar with all of these, but you German guys will know what's up. You got the likes of Fortuna Cologne. So, you know, there are so many possibilities. That is a weird one, but I believe these are like third, fourth division French teams. We have some more random clubs that I, I can't even recognize. I don't even know who. So if you know them, let us know down in the comments below. There is a huge selection. You've got even more. Some of these clubs, like they have a generic enough look where you could just name them your own thing and don't even have to be like related to what they are in real life. Like that just looks like a skull. That looks generic enough to be renamed and rebranded. Hell, you could even relocate a club if you really wanted to. We've got a few more lower tier Italian clubs. You've got 
Phillips emoji, retro logos like this Chirona Club badge, and a few more scattered throughout. We've got the addition of all the Mexican teams that were removed from FIFA thanks to Konami stealing the exclusive licenses for them. So that's why Liga Mekis aren't in the game, but you've got those teams to add back in if you really wanted to. You could relocate them to the MLS or just do something crazy with them. You've got a few Japanese clubs that have been removed. And of course, it is the most highly requested feature or league to add into career mode. And that is the lower leagues of England, the Vanarama Conference, the fifth tier of football in England. So you've pretty much got all the lower tier and non-league teams to select from, from the likes of Dover Athletic to Eastbourne FC. Big up the Oval Town. You've got Western Supermar, Welling United, Turbo City Football Club. Like, you get the gist. Bath City, Banbury United. That just might be the best club logo I've ever seen. We've got Solihull Moor, Southend United, a couple more of the better default and generic EA logos in there, and then some custom no-name badges that the modders have added in themselves and are actually worth keeping in the game. But, oh, you've got Slytherin. Even some Harry Potter lovers in here. You could make the Slytherin Quidditch team. I'm getting carried away. Now, all of a sudden, Creative Club career mode becomes fun again because you've got so many ideas and concepts to play around with. Nonetheless, we'll change the color and there is even more selections. Now, let's look through them. I haven't even seen these. Oh, no way. You've got the Classic 11 versus the World 11 badges. Oh, if you know, you know. Only the real ones know. You can add the Indian national team. My 5% Indian audience will be very happy about that. You've got the Marvel, Marvel Fortnite logo. Okay, this is getting crazy now. Oh, okay, here you go. YouTube All-Stars, Sidemen FC. You could create them both in a career mode save. And these are what make it so special because the badges kind of give you ideas and concepts to work with. We can have experimental saves. There are some more retro logos like this Inter one. And these mods just continue to blow me away. Oh my God, there's even more. When is it going to end, Robbie? But I'm not complaining. Oh my God, it keeps going. This list is absolutely insane. You guys might just have to download it and see for yourselves because this video is going to be like two hours long. And those kind of fantasy exhibition teams kind of lead into the concept teams we've got here, like Red Bull London. Now this is where I'm torn because I've got so many options to choose from. So many would look nice and fit the vibe of the club. This is where the option anxiety kicks in and you've just got too many to play around with. It's a good sign though. It's a good problem to have. And I've ended up going with a generic ass logo. The eagle looks menacing. It's got that nice purple color. It matches. And now we move on to the arenas, the stadium selection. And this is where I've used the power of some other mods and combined them together. So the Fight for Realism mod, it allows you to have access to every single real world stadium in the game. So we don't have to just choose from the generic default stadiums that EA allow your creator club to use. We have literally every single stadium in the game at our fingertips. And if we really wanted to play at Loftus Road every week, we could. We'd kick QPR out and make that our home stadium and it would actually work. Like you've got pretty much all the new stadiums added, no deleted stadiums, unfortunately. So no Camp New, no Allianz Arena. Look how many more stadiums it opens you up to. And unlike real world stadiums, you could actually rename them. So if I wanted to rename the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and call it the BC Arena, I could. And bam, just like that, it's our new home stadium, 42 and a half thousand. We're going to accept that. And the only downside about using a real world stadium and having pretty much all of them unlocked is that you can't actually edit the stands of the stadium. Like nothing comes up. You can't really do too much about that. As you can see here, we've got an open field. It looks pretty weird to start off. It looks like the game's about to crash, but believe you me, what you can actually customize is everything on the pitch and you've still got atmosphere options too. Like the Atlanta stadium comes with those red and black nets. Obviously, I don't want anything to do with red and black nets. So I'm just going to go with the diagonal purple and white just to fit more of my club theme and you can see it actually take effect. Things are changing even though the background looks very buggy. So there is an element of real stadium customization. It's just that only in the stands area you are limited. But other than that, it's a small price to pay for everything that this mod has to offer. Here's just a quick tip. If you don't have mods and don't want to be sacked from your own created club, set your board expectations to custom and have every single objective set to very low. So there are no expectations. The bar is in hell. And unless you do something catastrophically bad, you won't be fired. And you can see how the kits look here on all the generated players. You can see exactly who you're working with and customize them as you please. Now what's different here, you wonder? And this is where the beauty of combining these creator club mods with other free mods available online really comes in handy and just overhauls everything because you'd usually be able to like edit their name, their kit number, date of birth, country and all that. But with the unlock 
everything in the player editor mod, you get access to way more boots and accessories, way more goalkeeper gloves, new and retro boots to select from, and there are just hundreds, if not thousands of more selections. So again, more elements of customization you can play around with without having to pay a cent. Because with these more in detailed customization steps, like their goal celebrations, their run style, their set piece style, once you load into the save and it's loaded, you can't go back and edit these. So that's why the unlock player editor comes in handy and it actually gets activated once we start up this career save because you'd be able to make this guy eight foot tall. We'll, we'll show you once we get in there. But it's just another level of immersion and lets you actually customize their generic faces, like give them new hairstyles, customize facial features and skin tones, which you can't actually do in a generic player customization. But that'll all become fully realized once we're happy with the team. You can play around with it, do what you want, change all their boots, change the gloves. Be careful, brother. It looks like this guy's elbows are about to snap off. Like, what is wrong with their arms, man? This is another career mode glitch that not even mods can fix. Like, why are they doing this? Like, what's going on, bruv? All our players are gonna be out with broken arms in a second. Do whatever you want to do when it comes to the settings. No changes there. As BCHD United get the start of their dreams. And I don't think I've ever really done a Creator Club career mode series on the channel. But Big Ange is here. I forgot we even appointed him at the start. But he's repping BCHD United. Starting in the championship. Looking for that clean promotion to the Prem. But wait, there's more. I've got to show you some more Creator Club enhancements that I've yet to touch on. And that includes not only editing your generic players you get assigned, but also your youth academy products and the creator club customization benefits you get once you enter season two like changing a stadium and all that jazz now even if you've set everything up and you're ready and roaring to go but you're not quite happy with the stadium you've chosen or want to do a few more last minute adjustments you do have one more day which is like the first day you load into the game to completely change your home stadium to something different however once you start simulating once you move forward in time you're no longer going to have that option and things are going to be set for the season Season to come as we can see here yeah it's grayed out you can't change anything you can't upsize or downsize your stadium you can't really do anything besides customize the pitch the grass the goal nets and the atmosphere however you can edit your generic players that have been assigned to you so for example we've got b tech Bamiyang, which just looks like the epitome of the black guy generic face i've seen thousands of those kind of game faces before so we're going to scroll on over to the head section where we get unlimited access to his tone and complexion we can change up his eyes we can change up his nose we can pretty much do everything change up his haircut it's like you're in the main menus creating a player this is how it should actually be but ea just for some reason don't want you customizing generic player faces it should be possible but as career mode players we're just not allowed to have nice things so that's everything to do with his look and then you've got the animations of course his run style set piece style so it's all free for you to change if you aren't bothered to go through all of your players upon setup and just want to create your club you can deal with all the player customization later and this is how you know the unlock everything mod is working because you can make players eight foot five the heaviest 330 pound player or the shortest ever four foot three a dwarf you can make a team of giants a club of eight foot five brick shit houses if you really wanted to and just like that our boy is set you get access to pretty much everything else but this is freely available to you throughout the career mode save and is readily available for whenever you want to change things up again more power and more freedom back to the player what if i make the eight foot five I've got a captain. What does he look like in the menus? This is going to be a shock. Oh my god, he's bloody peeking out of the screen. That's how we want it here at BCHD United. We accept everyone. Tall, short, built like a final boss battle villain. Oh my god, the height difference between him and Ange. You've got to love it. Oh my god, whoa. That looks so trippy. So we've got a home game against Hull City coming up. And I want to showcase to you guys what is happening and that it all works. It's not all just for show. These are the mods in full effect. So we're going to kick off and you can see there. The Mercedes-Benz Stadium doesn't have the same ring to it as the BCHD Arena. And to see all of your kits on display and see them actually work. Home, away and alternate. They are all there. Ready to be fitted out on match day. And it is just all perfectly themed in the BCHD FC format. We've got the tallest player in the world. I'm sure he hit his head on the tunnel on the way out, but they're warming up. It's a bright, beautiful, sunny day. And this is a perfect little cutscene. We've got the captain 
who, oh my god, it looks like an abomination. All the fans have packed it out. BCHD United, I'm sure all my subscribers would be there if we made this club in real life. And I just picked this stadium because it's it's one of the most unique looking modern stadiums in the game. And it's just a perfect way to showcase that we aren't at no generic stadium. We've kicked out the real world team and uh, we've already gone 1-0 down inside two minutes. So perfect start for the boys. Whole city have smacked one from long range. Not the perfect start to our created club career mode. Mods aside, it hasn't been a fun day out, but you can just see the background, the, the stadium ambience, the environment looks tip top. And like in pro clubs, like in Ultimate Team, you should be able to do this. Like we shouldn't have to rely on mods to be able to unlock all real world stadiums in the game and be able to access this in Creator Club. Just to show you guys the stadium in the background, it looks stunning. Like it's an amazing stadium and it has got a pretty unique feel to it. I mean, you, you can't help that it has the Atlanta United badge up there. It's got a and United on the side. There's nothing we can really do to fix that, but again, with other stadiums that are, that are less themed about the team, you, you can kind of fit it towards your style and edit the stands, edit the seat colors and all that, but that's one of the consequences of using these real world stadiums. You can't have everything perfect, but it's a small sacrifice that you need to come to terms with, get to grips, but I think you can look past it, and there's our eight foot five big boy, ready to cause some havoc. Oh, here he is on the ball. Look at our monstrosity we made. He lost our possession, but surely he can win the ball back with a slide. Why do I even bother? This is what I get for not actually playing the game. This is how bad and rusty I am. I'm getting exposed here tonight by the new CPU legendary AI that was patched a couple title updates ago. And we are out here getting absolutely cooked. But it's not about that. It's about sending a message with this absolute tall mountain of a man. How does he lose the ball out there? And even though he's eight foot five, the tallest man in the world, the tallest footballer he is moving around like prime cr7 and he's gonna pop one from distance all right that's enough fun we're gonna jump sim to the end we end up copying a 4 0 loss a simply brilliant way to start your first game as a club and introduce your fans to an l taking legacy and we're gonna showcase to you what happens when you enter a new season so we're gonna simulate season two let's see how far this modded creation can make it and if i can even last till season two. Oh, i've got to even point out the 24 25 mod is working so we're currently starting Starting this save in the next season. Completely forgot to mention it, but another classic example of how combining all sorts of mods together, it just starts to feel like a completely different game at a certain point. Huh? Do, do I need to even say anything anymore? Well, what are we doing here? This is gonna crash the game, isn't it? Press A to sign and get ready to crash the game. Boom. Ready? Five. I was just yeah, 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 there we go. That's over now! Ooh. They stole it from me, Carmine! They took it! <laughs> Our created club ended up getting promoted to the Prem just because we're built like that. Albeit via the playoff final, 2-1 win against Watford. So I want to see what goes down. Can we edit our stadium again? Can we change it to another real life stadium? Do we get to edit some kit templates, our colors, change the sponsors up? I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know, like you lot. Let's find out as we end off the season there. Promoted to the Prem and got this club to the Barclays. Harry Kane ended up winning a trophy. So you know the realism mod isn't applied right now. Nevertheless, ending the season loading in to hopefully, fingers crossed, some new customization options because, you know, we might want to upsize the stadium, make a few upgrades here and there, change a few things, and let's see if this actually works because there has been a glitch recently that people have been telling me about where if you have creative players in your career save, your game just crashes when you try and load into a new season, so that doesn't seem to be the case here. My whole entire club is created players, so it would make sense for the game to start crashing if that was the case. We're welcomed in to customize the club and let's load up. We can change our kits, we can change our crest and stadium. So it's all available to us if we wanna shake things up. That's exactly what we're gonna do for season two. Get rid of that sponsor. Let's go with the United look and have the team viewer Puma, new kit manufacturer too. I was thinking of rocking with the OG Samsung kit sponsor that reminds me of the retro Chelsea kits, but I'm really drawn towards this Aeon Adidas combo we've got right here for the OA shirt and for the alternative. It. We're looking pretty in pink with T-Mobile and Castore as our kit manufacturer and the goalkeeper kit. Let's just change it all up for season two, making sure everything is fresh and ready to go. We're going to pick that cool gray Nike goalkeeper jersey. So let's just change literally every single kit we have. And then going into the crest again, you can change this up if you really want to. With options like these, you just get so many more hours of replayability and save ideas to have. It just makes your club feel fresh every single season. And now, 
now. Here's the big kahuna. The stadium change. Do we have all the real world stadiums and real life selections to choose from? What if I wanted to move to the Bernabeu? And okay, we do. They are all unlocked. That's what you love to see, okay? The consistency is there. I want to pick a unique looking stadium that you can easily tell is changed. Not so great in terms of team colors and branding, but it does the job. And that's La Bombonera. We're going to rename it to the BC Arena, of course. And just like that, we've upped our stadium capacity by 10,000 seats, moved continents, moved nations. We've relocated to Argentina and we're going to select La Bombonera as our Premier League ground. How sick is that? That is just, yeah, I didn't even think of that. You could play Premier League matches outside of the country, albeit you only get to change it once every season, every new season, but that's not going to stop us from experimenting and having fun with it and just seeing what the possibilities are. Again, you can't really grasp what it all looks like because when you select a real stadium, the game doesn't really know what to do and you just see the goals and the pitch. But other than that, everything is working to a T. We've applied all of our changes and everything is looking good to go. Now, just in case you might've made a mistake or you want to change something, I still believe you have the option to go back to customize your club and change up a few things if you really want to. But again, you only get a one day grace period for this. Now for the final test, we've got a Premier League match day at home. And here's to see if everything is working as intended. We can go, go through the kickoff and they're waiting for us the Bombonera. For some reason, it won't change to the BC Arena. I might have messed something up along the way. All of our kits, sponsors, and manufacturers are changed. And now we can go into place sit air. Now we can watch the match day experience unfold at our brand new Premier League Stadium. Arlen getting warmed up and ready to kick a bag against BCHD United at the Bombonera with all of our stadium changes in place. There you have it in the Premier League scoreboard too. It's cool to see. End him. Oh my god. God, we nearly killed Kevin De Bruyne right there. Oh, hit that sun. Let's go. Our eight foot five mega giant slams it home into the purple nets. It is such a, it's such a sight to behold. Everyone looks like they're five foot tall next to that guy. The fans in the stands, the Bombonera popping off and these mods are working ever so wonderfully. Pep Guardiola doesn't know what's hit him. He's facing an alien and the BC arena is pumping again. Not the best stadium if you want your creative club atmosphere and vibe to be in the background because all of the stadium infrastructure has the Boca branding all over it. It's, it's one of those kind of stadiums, again, we've chosen, but that's the price you have to pay. And at least the proper club logos on match day is displayed on the scoreboard, but everything else, all the banners and that, you can't change, unfortunately. It all still has the real world team branding, but it's not every day you get to play a Premier League game at the Bombonera. So there's a lot to be grateful for here. Like, wouldn't this be sick if we had like a stadium editor slash builder embedded into the game? Yeah, I know. It's a wild pipe dream, but still, I, I like, I want to be hopeful. I want to remain positive. We sim straight to the end and it's a comprehensive 3-2 win versus Citizens. So there you have it. That's the power of Creator Club mods. And with all of them combined and applied to your game, it completely revolutionizes everything. And you saw there how much fun and freedom it gives you. And this kind of potential and spin-off version of career mode has. Like, this is big time stuff. This could be EA's main moneymaker. The, the mode that draws draws people to this game and gets them to buy it. But no, it gets neglected and thrown to the wayside, lazily added back in after years of demanding its return. And it's a shell of what it once was. There are so many nuanced features and new additions that need to be added. And in some case, added back to this creator club expansion. Don't hold your breath. I don't think there are many changes coming soon unless EA can prove me wrong in FC25, which I'd love to be proven wrong. Like these requests are very reasonable. Like, it is very very possible for EA to add them into the base game of FIFA, like more kits, actual sponsors like we had back in the day, non-generic goalkeeper kits and templates to use. It's become an embarrassment because they could actually add this throughout the game cycle or just obviously have it available at launch, which is preferred, but they just continue to add maybe like one or two new kits. That little Beats partnership they did where there was like three new Beats kits added to the game, but nothing else. Other than that, FC24 Creator Club has been a letdown and we were clouding on it from launch day, which was never a good look. And this is what we've had to resort to. Like, I'm all for it. I love it. But when I think about all the player base that are on console and missing out on this stuff, it doesn't feel right. I feel like I've got the privilege. I feel like I've got all this power at the palm of my hand and only the PC master race are able to utilize it. There aren't really outlandish things to be added. Yes, maybe some of my recommendations like a stadium builder and creator. That's a, that's a little bit more of a pipe dream. But when it comes to the new kit templates, sponsors and club icons, all the badges, 
colors and like uploading your own custom look. When you know FIFA's history with Game Face and the Creation Center, when you know that they've got that up their sleeve and eventually ended up removing it entirely from the game, that should be able to be reimagined in a way and we should be able to, to have that fully realized and embedded into this FC series. With all this modern day technology, you'd think that we'd see the return of the Creation Center one day. All this stuff that needs to be added back in that would supplement and complement this creator club mode tremendously. So this is all in the realm of possibility and could well and truly be a sneak peek into future new features that arrive in however many installments of the game. But for now though, career mode and create your club, the game's potential is yet to be hit. The sky's the limit when it comes to giving us all those customization options, uploading our own kits and badges. It will be a magical day if that day ever arrives. But if there are any other mods you want me to experiment with and showcase to you all, let me know down in the comments below. PC mods, just stay winning, baby. And if you went on to enjoy all of today's shenanigans and all the Creator Club mods, drop the video a like down below, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications so you never miss out on all the content and the videos coming to the channel this year. Follow me on all my socials, links will be down in the description below. As always, I've been your boy Sir BCHD, Creator Club forever, and I'll catch you all in the very next video. Bye-bye.